ಅನ್ನಪತೆ ಅನ್ನಸ್ತನೋಧೇಹಿ ಅನ್ನಿಮಸ್ ಸುಸ್ಮಿನ ಪದಾಧಾರಂತಾರಿಷಜನೋಧೇಹಿ ವಿಪದೆ ಚತುಸ್ಪದೆ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಓಂ ತನಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಓಂ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಋಷಿಗಾಚ ಛಂದ ಸುಜನಾರ್ದನೋ ದೇವತ ಕುಮಾರ ಜಮಾತ ಸದನ ಪ್ರಥಮೇ ವಿನಿಯೋಗ ಓಂ ಜನಾರ್ದನ ಅನ್ನ ಪತೆ ಕ್ರೀಡಿತ ಅನ್ನಮನೋ ದೇಹಿ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸಾಕ್ತಿ ಅನ್ನಂ ಜಗ್ದ ಜುಗೋ ನ ದೇಹಿ ದೀಪದೆ ಚತುಸ್ಪದೆ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಓಂ ಅಪನಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಓಂ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಿಂಹಿಗಾಚ ಛಂದ ಶ್ರೀಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾರಾಯಣೋ ದೇವತೆ ಕುಮಾರ ಜ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವಿನಿಯೋಗ ಓಂ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಅನ್ನಪತಿ ಅನ್ನಂ ಅಮೃತ ಮನೋ ದೇಹಿ ಕಮಲ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ತೇ ಭುಕ್ತ ಸೇಸ ಮನೋ ದೇಹಿ ದೀಪದೆ ಚತುಸ್ಪದೆ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಓಂ ಸಮಾನಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಓಂ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಋಷಿಗಾಚ ಛಂದ ಶ್ರೀಜಗ್ಗದೇವತ ಕುಮಾರ ಜ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವಿನಿಯೋಗ ಓಂ ಅನ್ನಪತೆ ಜಗ್ಗ ಅನ್ನ ಮಧು ಜಗ್ಗ ತದೀಯನೋ ದೇಹಿ ಸರ್ವ ದುರ್ಲಭ ಮನಸ್ಸಂ ವೈಶುಧಾಯೂತ ನೋ ದೇಹಿ ದೀಪದೆ ಚತುಸ್ಪದೆ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಓಂ ಉದಾನಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಓಂ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಋಷಿಗಾಚ ಛಂದ ಜನಾರ್ದನೋ ದೇವತ ಕುಮಾರ ಜ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವಿನಿಯೋಗ ಓಂ ಅನ್ನಪತೆ ಜನಾರ್ದನೋ ಸರಳಸ ಅಮೃತ ಸರಳಸಭೃತ ಸಿಕ್ತ ನಿವೈತ ಸದನ್ನೋ ದೇಹಿ ಕಿಲ್ಲಿಸಾಪಹಮನೋ ದೇಹಿ ದೀಪದೆ ಚತುಸ್ಪದೆ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಓಂ ಬೆನಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಕಥಾ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಟಿ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟಿಪೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬೇಜರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಯಾಗೋ and also from big island so many devotees especially the 
senior and sincere devotees. They have come. Also my friends like what Rishabh Dev Prabhu. With his whole family, Shivanandi and all. Also, O oh Prabhu, Vidak Madhav and his friends, Gopapinda Paul Prabhu and his wife especially, <laughs> because they have decided to be in the oil. <laughs> Especially my request to both of them, Gobinda Prabhu Prabhu and Mula Devi, that they should be there writing so many things, helping me and helping devotees. Because they are learned, they are very expert in our literature, Vaishnava literature and Vaishnava philosophy. So I want that they should help other people. In thus he will serve his Guru. No doubt. So I want to give my thanks that very, very far away you have come to Brazil also. And also he and his, Aniruddha Prabhu and his wife. Shivanandi All are helping. Very Shivanandi. Oh, very good. <laughs> so all are helping. So I'm my heartly blessing to them to make it successful. Oh, Baba, you are a father of Andy. <laughs> Indrananda, the Nirvan Prabhu. How many names I can? Gopal, Dupamanahar, Ladini Sat. Well, I want to thank everybody who made this a very successful festival. I also uh, give my heart a blessing to Anand. Where is Anand? He's a very bold boy. <laughs> he should be here. I want the uh, disciples like him very bold. And they should not be always engaged in sense gratification. They should come forward for Krishna consciousness. I want to thank everybody who participated and made this festival a wonderful success even though the weather was uh, not so cooperative with us all. Everybody came together and worked very hard and, and uh, made it very successful, especially, I have to, this festival would not have been possible without uh, Aniruddha and DeSoto, who organized everything, made, made sure everybody was taken care of. They did an incredible job, and I cannot thank them enough. They were just... Oh. Without the tent of Puru, Monohar Puru, I want to thank Sevanandi and Saranjiv. Sevanandi made a wonderful prasadam for everybody. One day, very beautiful. Giving and and Saranjiv... in the street. <laughs> Uh, they saved their pennies throughout the year. They contributed over a thousand dollars to the festival cost. Plus, they came over and they did service from the time they, they've been here since Saturday, and they've never stopped doing service since they've been here. So. Uh, 
Manohar and Anurag, Anurag, Anuradha. Uh, Rupa, he also um, gave over a thousand dollars. He he's the one who uh, donated this uh, tent to the festival. He made sure that it would be dry in here. He spent I don't know how much money by buying tarps at the hardware store. <laughs> And made sure everything was secure so we'd all be drying here. So <laughs> Nirguna was right there with him the whole way, running back and forth. Well, been so much. Uh, Kamala Kanta, he's a uh, Mahasevite. He's an uh, unbelievable guy. He's very quiet. Hardly you notice him, but he is doing so much service. Uh, it's just it's so helpful, it's so good, so great. Uh, Radhanath Prabhu is wonderful kirtans and he's been cooking every day in the kitchen. Also non-stop. Krishna Priya and Madhavi also in the kitchen every day working hard. Uh, Krishna Priya doing the, the She's doing the book table. I didn't ask you to do it. She just took it up on Where's herself. And <laughs> right She's doing so much service. Oh. Really helpful, cheerful. <laughs> really CD? Really CD? Already is. Oh, so good. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, oh, Nanda Gopal. He provided that facility for everybody. So when we left the campsite, uh, we had facility for devotees to stay. And he paid for that, so he's, uh, he's been a wonderful help also over here at the festival site, so without him also we'd be here more up. Mr. Dilma Prabhu is a wonderful kirtan, a wonderful guitar, wonderful association. Uh, the Transcendental Roadshow crew, that's <laughs> Brenda Davy, Tonga Davy. Tonga <laughs> Reed Prabhu. Beloved Srila Gurudev. Oh. Somehow or another, he's he's been able to unite all these. Don't give any thanks to Madhu Maharaj. <laughs> And there's so many, so many diverse personalities here, and only by Gurudev's sweet mercy has he been able to bring us all together so we can be in the service of Radha and Krishna. So this is uh, only he could control us, and only he could inspire us in such a way that we would actually be under one roof together and be one pointed. Samarani TV for her wonderful association and her tolerance. We didn't have any place for her. <laughs> and we had <laughs> so we tried to facilitate her as best we could. And she was so tolerant and kind to we all all of it. Uh, Ashram Maharaj, his wonderful classes. Yeah. If I forgot anybody, please forgive me. Uh, Vilasini. Huh? <laughs> all Guruji to devotees. All that day, if any devotee was not here to hear, then to whom I have spoke. So all glory to a Sadhguru devotee. Jnana Timirandhasya Jnana Jnana Salakaya Chatsurun Militam Jena Tasmai Shivurami Vancha Kalpataru Bhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhaivacha 
पतितानाम पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमः नमो महाबदन्नाय कृष्णा प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गौरतिशे गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदालय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ताय तवैवास्मि तवैवास्मि न जीवाम क्रिया बिना I want to that are clear that first we should decide our object and then process. I think that you have a clear vision of your object to Sadha Radha and Krishna Kanti or Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And also I have cleared that process of bhakti beginning from Shraddha, we should adopt this process to achieve rati or move, how. Then your sadhana will be really sadhana. Otherwise, if no object, no process. Only process will let go. So, having some goal or a heart, all process bhakti, we should get So now bhakti has been divided into three. Sadhan bhakti, bhav bhakti, prema bhakti. Our process has Sadhan Bhakti. But the object of this Sadhan Bhakti should be Rati. How to achieve Rati? That is how Bhakti is not Bhakti. Again, there are two processes for this. What is favorable, you should adopt very strong. And what is unfavorable, they should be rejected with very strong. If you are doing, then you must accept. And if you are only doing favorable, but not rejecting unfavorable things, your bhakti will be strong like that. And it will be rotten and one day it will be finished. Don't, don't go to Vishayi, Mayabadi, Sahajiya and Try to be in the line of Śrīla Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, guided by Shirup Goswami, Atul Seda Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta. So, <coughs> always be Uttahi. Always be like that. Don't be weak. And Sila Bhakti no Thakuri, quoting the verses of Sila Rupa Goswami. Utsaha, Nishaya, Hariya, Tattak Karma Pravartana, Sangha Tyaga, Sato Bhakti, Sadabari Bhakti. Oh, Prabhu, you, 
You thought that's strange to me. Oh, Prabhu, Prabhu. You saw me stand up and So I want to make him a very famous preacher. <laughs> him and his wife. And if he has no objection, I may give him. So Maharaj said two things to understand, sadhan and sadhya. We must know the, first of all, the object, our aim of life. And knowing the object, the sadhya, then the process or the sadhana becomes clear. But no sadhya, no sadhana, no clear sadhana. And he said that that sadhya should be rati three kinds of bhakti, sadhan bhakti, bhav bhakti, prem bhakti. And if, if, there, if bhav bhakti is not the goal of our sadhan bhakti, then that sadhan bhakti will be cut and will evaporate. He said for that there must be anukul and pratikul. We have to know what is favorable in order to achieve that bhav bhakti and what is unfavorable in our attempt to do it, to accept that which is favorable and to reject out of hand anything which is unfavorable. If our father, mother, even guru, he is not favorable, he should be at once rejected. Like Prahlad Maharaj rejected Oh, he is Guru. Father also, Guru also. And also, Bali Maharaj rejected his Guru. He was not so bad as his father. Go on. Okay? Oh, thank you. So, Srila Rupa Goswami, he has given the third verse in Upadesha Amrita, Utsaham Nishchayat Dayat Tat Tat Kama Pravatanat Sangat Chagat Chagat Tobite Shadri Bhakti Prasidhiti That in execution of our sadhana Bhakti, that these are most essential. First, Utsaham, that we should be enthusiastic. Means that even if we're not getting a very high level of taste, which is coming at the stage of Ruchi, but still understanding that, oh, Gurudev, he has given this very special thing. He has given me Nam. He has given me Krishna in the form of name. He has given me Diksha Mantra. And even though I may not be every day feeling um, so much taste, but with our intelligence, understanding what good fortune that we have, and understanding that if we follow the process, definitely we will get the result. Then, with this intelligence, we perform enthusiastically. Utsahan. Nishtayat dayat. Dayat means we should be patient for the result. That the result may not come in a day, but it takes some time to come. So if these two things are there, Utsahan, enthusiasm, and patience, understanding that maybe our Sukriti may not be so strong from previous lines, but nevertheless, we're so forced to come in contact with very good Sadhu Sangha and bona fide Guru. If these two things are there, Utsahan and Daya, enthusiasm and patience, then determination will come also. Utsahan Nishtya Daya, Tat Tat Kama Pravatana, that we should follow the um, process, following the activities in the line of our previous Acharyas. How they were um, hearing and chanting, absorbed in the pastimes of Radha Krishna Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Utsahan Nishtya Daya, Tat Tat Kama Pravatana, Sangat Chagat Sato Vite that we should avoid um, non-devotional association. As Srila Gurudev has explained, especially my bodies and personalists and those who are overly attached to sense enjoyment, that especially these two categories of persons 
that we should avoid. And um to follow in the footsteps of our previous acharyas. Mm. So to follow the footsteps of our previous acharyas, how they were performing their sadhana and bhajan. Hey Rade. Raja Day became Chalalite. Hey Nanda Sunokuta. Actually, this is such high level. To follow like that internally, then this requires a very advanced stage. But at least to follow the instructions and follow in the line of our Guru Vaga, taking shelter of Guru Day, then by Guru Day's mercy, then one day we'll be able to follow them externally and internally. Thank you. That to maintain our life and to come in the process of bhakti, both are needed. What means? What I do? Bhakti yoga. Both are essential. If you are in married life, don't think that always we should observe the sense gratification. This is not for that. Only to maintain our life. By each other help, we will survive and also we will practice bhakti for this. Try to listen all those who are here. This family life is not for enjoying. It is for helping each other and going and developing our Krishna consciousness. Those who are doing so, oh Krishna will punish them very much. Our this human body has been given by Krishna. Due to his un causeless mercy, he has given this. Only to practice bhakti yoga. So those who are always in joining family life, or oh Krishna will punish them. He will crush. So you should always helping each other, wife and husband. Not daily changing, divorcing, and you should develop your and that is why we have. Satang prasangam ma vidya sambhidau bhavante rita karana rasayana hapasat padyosanata asu apabhagva vatmani sadharati bhakti sambhidhavi Sundari, Sundhya, Nishodhya Satam prasangana mam vidya sambhidau bhavanti dita karana rasayana katha tat jojnad ashu apavarga vartmani shadharati bhakti anukhmishyati In this verse it is said that those who have desired to advance in the path of Krishna consciousness and they want to get rid from the cycle of birth and death then what they should do? They should go in the association of sadhus, those bona fide saintly persons who are relishing the taste of Krishna consciousness in their heart. What happens there in the association? Satam prasangan mamabhichya sambhido. They are always discussing about my powerful pastimes, my sweet pastimes, which are so powerful and so potent that they can actually award us the ultimate perfection and cleanse our heart from all kind of disease, especially lust. Sadam prasangan mam vijya sambhido bhavanti rita karana rasayana kaha These pastimes, these pastimes which we hear in the company of sadhu, they are not only powerful and potent, but they are also very sweet. They are very relishable for the ear as well. 
they are very poetic. When we hear, we will immediately feel the effect that our all anxiety and misery will disappear. Then, what will happen? Gradually, the faith, the shraddha, it will intensify in our heart. It will become more strong, more strong, and gradually it will become rati, and then further onwards frame. So this is why it is very important that we should go in the shelter, in the association of those saintly persons who have realized that absolute truth, who actually are firmly established in the relationship with the Supreme Lord. Hare Krishna. More vital point is that right my English more important to think <coughs> that Krishna ki jasya giring tang mana shastri dikshasti cheta pranat bhishya bhajanta misham sustusya bhajana bhikya mananya mananya mindadi sunnam sunnam hridamip shati most important how to behave with Vaishnava to Kanishtha Madhyam or Really they are Madhyam Vaishnava. If they don't behave, they are not Vaishnava. You can. From there you can. From there. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Krishna ki yasya giri thang manasadriyeta. This is a very important verse in the Upadeshamrit by Srila Rupa Goswami. And Srila Gurudev explained that if we cannot follow this verse, we cannot advance one inch in Krishna consciousness. Krishna ki yasya giri thang manasadriyeta. Man means mind. For one who's not very serious in Krishna consciousness, for who's a Kanitsa Bhakta, a Prakrita Bhakta, materialistic Bhakta, but who's sometimes chanting Hare Krishna, then we should offer obeisances to him within our mind. If we offer obeisances to such a proud materialistic Bhakta with our body, then even if we're in a higher position, he may become puffed up and think that, oh, this is a lower devotee. And so we do it in our mind. Then if Dikshasti, Dikshasti Chase, Pranati Beast, if someone has actually taken Diksha, not in a, what's called Anustanika Diksha, simply, just Swaha Swaha, just the externals, but not actually following with the heart or following the principles. Not like that. But if someone has actually taken Diksha and he's actually sincerely following his spiritual master's instructions and the instructions of the previous Acharyas, then that person is considered as a Madhyama or middle devotee. And we should offer our obeisances to such a person with our body and cooperate in some ways. Then Shushushi Beast, if someone is a pure devotee, a self-realized soul, and Uttama Mahabhagwat, who's always absorbed 24 hours a day in meditating on the Lord's eightfold pastimes, his 24 hour a day pastimes, and that person is Nindadi, beginning from the uh, offense of criticizing others, if he's free from all faults, beginning with the fault of criticizing others, then one should serve him with his life and soul and be prepared to give his whole head. Such a person can be accepted as a bona fide guru. And only by the grace of and guidance of such a person can one know how to deal with all other devotees and thus make advancement. Yeah, Kanishta Dikari means if Kanishta Dikari is taking 
in whole day one even Krishna. What is the meaning? Oh, if he is not Mayavati, he is not attracted to Mayavati. And he is not Sahajiya or so much Vishay. Eh? He is not like so. But he is not very strong like Madhya Madhikari. Then he is very. And if he is chanting even one name without any initiation, we should regard by mind. Yes. Uh, everything is come. So, he is convinced. If he is telling name one, oh, we should know him, our Sajati. Oh, in family. But even this ship, he is taken initiation, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, first, so many. <laughs> <laughs> but he is not favorable. He has so many false tables. The am guru of all. Then he should be rejected. He should, he should be very young. So, he should be honest. If you are not giving respect, then you are like a mystery. More than this. And if you are offending, then no sign of, no symptom of any kind. So, we should honor three kinds of Vaishnava. What Rupa Sama? If you are not giving proper respect to them, even a Kanishtha Dikari. If he, so, if you are not giving proper respect, you cannot develop your Krishna. So oh, you should try to be respect. At the time of sitting in process, at the time of prasadam, at the time of any meeting, always try to be proper respect according to their bhakti. It is very favorable for bhakti. Anasakta satishyam jatharaham upayun jata. Nirbandha Krishna Sambandha Yuttam Dairakyam Yuttyata. Maharaj, Madhu Maharaj, explain. Samudhyana Timiram Bhakta Janamjana Salatya Chakchuran Nikam Vinatasmi Sri Gurabhi Namaham. So, the Bhakti Vinod Chakur has explained here that anasakta se visayan jatharam pa jinjata nirvande krishna sammande yuktam vairagya muchyate What is yukta vairagya? Vairagya means renunciation. There are two types of vairagya, means two types of renunciation. One is called folgu vairagya or markad vairagya. Means renunciation only to show to others. Just like a monkey, they never dress themselves with human beings, not they are making any building, but always they are ready to grab some other thing. Especially if you go in Vrindavan, you can see, if you passing through any lane and you have some fruits or anything, food stuff, they look from distance and they will be calm and quiet. When you come nearer, they will grab you, take everything and go away. You could understand they want to grab you from your hand. So this type of Vairagya called Markad Vairagya. Actually no Vairagya at all. Only you want to show others that I am so renounced person. And what is Jukta Vairagya? About this, the Bhakti Thakur has quoted this law. That Anasaktasya Vishayan you will not be attached too much with your material thing. For maintaining your life, which is needed, you will accept that thing only, not more than that. Anasakta Sadhisayan Jatharam Upadhyata, which is needed, you can 
accept that, then you are okay. If you take too much, then this is not good for you. So Sri Rupa Goswami also restrict about this thing in his Upadhyasamritam. Nirvandha Krishna Sammandhe and which you will do, try to please Krishna. How? Through Gunafayat Gurudev. If you do so, that whatever you are doing, all your endeavor will go to please Krishna. Be one pointed, then it is Jukta Vairagya. If Jukta Vairagya, then you will advance in Krishna consciousness very easily. And if you not, only Markar Vairagya, then you will go down, down, down. And Jukta Vairagya, then you will go gradually higher and higher. And one day will come, then you will get more good association and you can attain the service of divine couple, Hare Krishna. Bansha Kalvataru Bhakti Kipa. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur is explaining a very essential thing. If you have given up everything, you have left your wife, children, your wealth, your position, everything. But you have not given up all things. Even you have this. Oh. Pratishtha. Pratishtha means praise. Self-praise. That also praise me. This Icha desire is very dangerous. It is like crocodile. At once it will follow you. Or it is like Sapacharamini prostitute, bogus prostitute. In a moment she can take your all. So try to keep it all away. Oh, it is the root of all kinds of un unwanted things. So always be very careful. Oh, don't even touch. Don't touch. And don't look after this. Even by mind, in dream even, if you want to develop. It is very hard to do. All ones that also pray. And you will do. If any lady comes and I tell her, Oh, your baby is very beautiful, right? Though he is black. <laughs> His teeth are coming out again. All. But if I will, oh, your son is very, very beautiful, very beautiful. Or she will be? Oh, oh. <laughs> so, try to be very poor. If anyone tells that you are bhakta, yes, it is good. He is telling to, but also be careful for me. So anyone being like this, qualified by all these qualities, in morning, in evening, in midday, in night, those who chant Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare continuous in day and night without any break. Oh, for them no, no any other sadhana is needed. He is perfect. His sadhana is perfect. Very soon he will obtain that. So you should try to do like this. Having full faith in name, Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. Oh, embodiment of Radha and Krishna. Radha Krishna has 
Radha and Krishna. They have invested their all mercy, all power, all affluence, everything in this. So you should have a very strong faith. By this I will must be happy in my life. After life this also. Ekanta Bhakti Kirtan. So what they will do? If he is one pointed bhakta, ananya bhakta, Brahman, then Kirtan and Smaran. He has done Smaran. He has heard all these things, all kinds of Vaishnava story, Vaishnava philosophy, Krishna Tattva, Jiva Tattva, Maya Tattva, Prem Tattva, Ras Tattva, everything he has heard. Now he is one pointed and always meditating or smaran, remembering. And both. And, and all other uh, bhakti can. Limbs of bhakti has nothing to do. Only shaman and kirtan. Day and night. Not for you. Not for you. One day this is our goal. Huh? Now not. But one day when you will be one pointed like this, knowing all the Vaishnava philosophy, Prem Tattva, Rasa Tattva, Radha Tattva, Krishna Tattva, then you will be made. And then he will have no taste in any length of Tattva. Only Samarnam. Anna parve ruchi nahi hai pravartan. So we should not criticize him in dream even. Otherwise your bhakti will be. Bhavera sahita hai Krishna. At that time by remembering and by kirtan, he does the service of Radha and Krishna. All the Oh, we cannot now realize, but really, there is much difference in archan and shaman. What I told, what I told. There's much difference between archan and shaman. What is shaman? Oh, give actually. It to give it to her. She can explain. No? Yes, I'll try. Archana. Not that Goswami is Maran. And even Archana of Govardhan Srila is not Archana. It is Bhav Shiva. And Kanishta Madhyamadhikari, they may do Archana. They are Archana. And to serving Gurudev, even Oh, directly all are archan, not bhavashi. It is so hard. What I told Prabhu? You, you, you. Mahabharata. Mahibharata. The worship of deities. Uh, chanting different things aren't actually archan, but then when you come to a very, very high stage, you become Bhavsa. What is Raghunath Das Goswami watch, worshipping and giving, offering hopes to his Girashila? What is this? That's Bhavsa. Bhavsa. Why? Bhavsa mood is. Uh, Anugatya to Srimati Radhika. Huh? His mood is Anugatya to Srimati Radhika. What do you mean? He is one point in and is chanting and remembering Bhav Seva. He is doing Bhav Seva. His archan is Bhav Seva. But our sarvi, serving also is archan, not Bhav Seva. So try to realize. Much bigger. 
don't think that my guru dev me oh, he should also worship like me don't uh, uh, don't drag from transcendental world to here that he should acha he should chant always like me counting his beads oh one lakh or two lakh or three lakh don't see Rupa Goswami I think that he never count, chanted and counted one lakh name why in first name when he began Hare Krishna he was in pain <laughs> tears coming all melting and he became unconscious like Mahaprabhu it has been told for Mahaprabhu always with the Sankhya Nirbandha, he used to chant name with he not of coffee. But when he was in unconsciousness and jumping in ocean for two days, where was he chanting beats? <laughs> and how he was doing Hare Krishna? Was he doing? Or if this is the fruit of, of all the eh? bhakti levels. <coughs> yes. Archan, all are archan. Your Guru Seva, everything is archan. And he, eh? Or he is not Madhya Madhikari now. He has become Uttam Adhikari. Madhya Madhikari also Archan. Yes, to some extent. If he is Madhya Kanishta or Madhya Madhya, and if he is going to be Uttam Adhikari, then he has passed that way, and his Archan is Bhavsa. Bhavsa even Bhajan said? That's it. No. It is about Sadhana. It is about sadhana. Though Raghunath Das Goswami, Rupa Goswami, they were practicing bhakti yoga, but they are so much above the level of sadhana. Yes, bhajan is like that. Our bhajan is archan, and their archan is bhava. तो भावे सहित है कृष्ण शिवान स्वार से की भाव क्रम है उद्दीपन एंड देन स्वार से की उद्दीपन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्वार से की स्वभाव के नेचुरल टू सर्व राग एंड कृष्ण कंजुगल फॉर एट पार्ट ऑफ द एंड नाइट He is going. He is sitting here. He is not here. He is with Krishna. Where Krishna is with Radha. Where Krishna now? This cover. Krishna has returned from cow herding. Just hold on, my. Seeing any scratch in his mouth? No. Any mouth? And taking his all bad things, balaya lena, and taking by some should be okay, like this. And in the meantime, Madhumangal may come. Oh, I know why these crashes. And Krishna, oh, <laughs> not like this. Oh. <laughs> And after this, Krishna goes to milk cows, milking cows, and some wrestling with friends. Sometimes Siddham may defeat him, and after that he will come and take bath and do so that he will give so much prasadam with all friends. And what Radhika? Radhika is repenting in his home. I am very 
very unfortunate. Because I cannot meet Krishna alone, never and never. In morning, in night, or sleeping with Mother Jasuda. And after that, cowherd, cowherding, with so lakhs and lakhs, Sakha strength. And after that, coming in the lap of Jasuda. So I am unfortunate, so much. She is cooking some manohar laddu, amrit keli, gutik and so many things, and sends it to Krishna in Jasoda Bhavan, Nanda Bhavan, and they are in training mode. And Radhika is so much lamenting at this time, this is that. And he will at once by his Siddhase will go and serve Radhika. Ostrating Radhika, weeping Radhika, consoling and serving of this sort of thing. This is Bhavai Seva, Parasaki, Gaur, Prema, I have told everything you should try to take in your heart. After this I don't know anything. The devotees are asking that um, our advancement in bhakti comes from the mercy of Guru, but uh, also it depends on our sukritis and samskars. Samskars. So, Sukriti also comes from their association. Is the mercy of the Guru limited by our own uh, lack of Sukritis and Sanskars? Huh? Does the mercy of the Guru depend upon our amount of Sukritis and Sanskars? It may be in some case, but it is always Nirankush. Nirankush means uncontrolled, uncontrolled by anyone. It may come to any Lopatpa, Bogus person. That is called Ahaituti. But sometimes called. But their, their mercy and everything is called. He may tell a Lopatpa person, Oh, bring a glass of water. I know Prabhupada was like this. Some was very lusty. And anyhow, his eyes fell on that person and he told, Oh, bring something for me. Oh, and he used to bring. And at the end, he lost the last two totally. Miracle. Go, Premanande. I like that you, Govinda Paral Prabhu, Ashtam Maharaj. Oh. What name? Mula Prakriti. <laughs> Mula Prakriti. 